The common conventional air pollutants are black carbon, including carbon dioxide, methane and other carbon compounds, sulfur dioxide, nitrous oxide, ozone, lead, and particulate matter of 2.5 microns of diameter and below, better known as fine dust. All of them are dangerous for the health of living beings. Since they are the product of human activities, their concentration is the highest above the most populated industrial cities of the world. Over there, they are usually monitored by observation stations. The slide focuses on the contribution of particulate of diameter of below 2.5 microns to chronic lung diseases. Because of their small size, the particles can break through the heavily into the bloodstream and damage the whole cardiovascular system. Amazon rainforest is held as the planet's major source of oxygen through photosynthesis. However, in the latest decades, tree cutting for timber and lush and burn farming have affected this capacity. The composition of gases and particulate matter above the forest turns into the industrial city composition above Manos, capital of the states of Amazonas, with a very narrow transition. In Manos City, the air pollution monitoring system is based on a network of four observation stations. They are located in both residential and industrial areas. Particulate matter 2.5 samples are collected in each observation station on a daily base. Other gases are collected on a weekly base. The particulate matter 2.5 is collected through a high-volume cascade impactor, which aspirates air by means of a vacuum pump adjusted to a 10 liter per minute flow. The aspiration spot is located 2 meters high, that is approximately the high of a human being. From the top downwards, the aspirated air sample is accelerated against the impacting disc. The hydrodynamics of the airflow separates the particulate matter between 10 and 2.5 microns and the particulate matter 2.5 and below. The former, suspended in the center of the airflow, deposits and stacks in the center of the impacting disc. The latter flows through the three lateral channels and impacts the filter a few centimeters below. The particulate matter 2.5 and below is retained over the mineral oil layer of the polycarbonate inert filter. The turnover of the replacement of the filter takes place as often as 24 hours. At any filter exchange, a foam is filled out. After the collection, the filter is secured in a petri dish to undergo the analysis process. The gravimetric analysis estimates the amount of particulate matter 2.5 over the filter. As a first step, the filter is put in a standard setting of humidity and temperature and undergoes a 24 hours drying process. In the meantime, the analyzing technicians take note of any irregular distribution of the particle matter or contaminants, such as leaves and insects, that can overestimate or merely distort the wave. Finally, the filter is weighted with an accuracy of 0.1 microgram. The mean concentration of particulate in the air is calculated by dividing the weight of the particles by the quantity of air processed over the 24 hours time of the exposition of the filter. Energy dispersive X-ray fluorescence is the technique used to estimate the quality and the quantity of the chemical elements that may be lying over the filter. The table displays the elements that are detectable through this test.
Finally, the thermal optical transmittance analysis assesses the black carbon in the particulate matter. Under an incident light beam, every compound of the black carbon absorbs light and lengthens the light wave to a different extent. In particular, the ultraviolet band incident beam enables the components of the organic carbon compounds to be separated from each other, and the infrared band does the same over the inorganic carbon compounds. Gases, such as sulfur dioxide and nitrous oxide, are collected by means of a different kind of filters hung outdoors throughout the week. Isso aqui são amostradores passivos de concentração de gases que nós deixamos aqui durante uma semana e depois levamos para o laboratório para analisar a concentração média semanal desses gases. Então temos aqui a composta de alguns compostos orgânicos voláteis, H2S, ozônio, NO2 e SO2. The concentrations of some of them may be quickly changing over the 24 hours. However, technology enables to monitor them almost in real time. Nowadays, the attention to their quality is globally enshrined by the Target 11.6 of the United Nations Agenda 2030 for Sustainable Development. With regard to the particulate matter 2.5, the upper limit is still WHO's, namely 10 micrograms per cubic meter. The target is difficult to achieve, take into account that only Stockholm is below such a limit among the European capital cities. The reduction of emissions of black carbon is also included in the Goal 13 in order to counteract climate change.